I have been on the hunt to find the most perfect shade of red ever. Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. It feels like we are in the season for red lipstick. So what I have done is pulled out every single red lipstick that I own in bullet form and combined them to do this lip swatching video for you. I will have timestamps linked below in case you were curious for in particular shades. A lot of these were limited edition and discontinued. So unfortunately, if you were interested in one of the shades that I swatched today, you won't be able to buy them. However, I do encourage you to keep looking through your own stash to find which red is your favorite. If you have any recommendations on red lipsticks that were not swatched in this video that you think I should own, comment down below what they are. I am very curious. For this first half of the video, I'm gonna be swatching some of my more high-end lipsticks, more expensive, if you will, as well as some of my ultimate favorite formulas. All of these shades today will be used with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner. This is the shade Red Carpet Red. We are gonna start off with Tom Ford Rose Petal from the Cafe Rose Collection. This is my newest red lipstick. I haven't even worn it yet. The second Tom Ford lipstick I have is the shade Flame. It's more of an orange red. And this one is Tom Ford Badass Collection in the shade Scarlet Shock. And this is my Hermes lipstick. I have mine in the shade Rouge Bay. It is my second favorite formula of all time. I have one Chanel lipstick in the shade Red and it is the new Rouge Allure Velvet in the shade 0200. These are limited edition and I believe these are still in stock at several retailers as I'm filming this today. These next two shades are from Dior. They are part of the new Dior Lip Velvet reformulated lipsticks. These are not limited edition. I'm starting off with the shade Rouge Shanghai 854. This is Rouge and Diablo 666, my favorite red shade in my entire collection of lipsticks. Next up, I have two of my Elisa Eldridge lipsticks. Believe it or not, I do not own Velvet Ribbon and I do need to buy that, so shame on me. This is the shade Strawberry Shock. And this is Velvet Morning. This is actually my very first Lisa Eldridge lipstick purchase. And here we have the shade Red Zero from Hourglass. I love this formula. It's so underrated, not talked about it enough. An incredibly comfortable formula. I have one shade in the Westman Atelier lineup. This formula has quite a bit more slip than the Tom Ford. I would argue that it's more comfortable However, my only complaint is this lip, and if you've watched my Westman Atelier lip swatching video, you already know how I feel about that. This is my YSL lipstick in the shade 145. There's not a name to it. It's not my favorite formula, and it's not my favorite shade, but it's beautiful nonetheless, and I love the silver packaging. This is Suku Moisture Glaze Lipstick in the shade Ichirinka 101. This one is limited edition. Welcome to part two of swatching every red lipstick that I own. My lips needed a break. So today we're gonna finish off with the last 12, actually I think maybe 13. And I'm gonna start by lining my lips with my Charlotte Tilbury Red Carpet Red Lip Liner, which has been getting 
quite a bit of use. I'm gonna dive into my Pat McGrath Labs. I'm gonna start with my Elsin 3 shade. I think this one is just a little more vibrant than Elsin 2. For continuity's sake, let's go into Elsin 2 next. Next up we have the shade Rouge 8. This was a limited edition for Lunar New Year, January 2023. And this is the shade Obsessed. It's a little bit more orange red. This is the shade Blood Rush. It is in the Blitz Trans formula. It is a metallic finish. This is my one and only red lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It is Blossom Red from the 2023 Lunar New Year. I have two red lipsticks from NARS. This one is the shade Anwak. And this is the shade Dragon Girl in the Power Matte formula. This is the shade Potent Petal from MAC. This is the shade Ecstasy from Sigma. This was actually a gift with purchase, which I'm really happy to have. This is the shade Montreux from Queen Musia. This is a much more toned down red. This lip liner won't really pair with it. However, I don't wanna use a different lip liner, but you should still be able to see the undertone of this red. This is Nabla Red Sapphire in the formula Beyond Jelly. This is similar to the Suku Moisture Glaze lipstick. Not as balmy, but comfortable. And last but certainly not least, I have Raban Red Seal 636. That is 26 red lipsticks swatched all in the name of girl science on the hunt to find the perfect red lipstick. Most of these formulas I love, some just need updated, some are unbeatable. Let me know your favorite red lipstick down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content. I try to post two to three videos a week. And as always, everything on my face is listed down below. Those links are affiliated. So if you click on those links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Keep your eyes peeled for my next video. I will be doing a liquid lip swatching video of all of my reds. Yes, the journey must continue. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.